Kia ora. Welcome to this lesson on optimizing a solution. So now we know how to take a set of inequations, we know how to graph them, and we know how to find the coordinates of the feasible region. So we know how to find these coordinates. Now we're going to do something with those. With each problem, you will be given an equation. This equation is known as the optimizing equation, and again, it will be given to you. Now, the way these equations or inequations work is the corners of the feasible region represent the points that you are going to need to, one at a time, plug in to the optimizing function or equation. So we see f equals 2x plus y plus y. 1. We're taking that 2x plus y plus 1, 0 is the x, 4 is the y. So 2 times 0 is my 2x plus 4 times, or plus y rather, plus 1. So what you're going to be doing is each one of these points, keeping in mind the first number is the x, the second number is the y, you will, one at a time, plug the x and the y into your optimizing equation and see what value comes out. Now, in this case, the biggest output here is 10, which means the point 3 comma 3 is the maximum solution. Here's what we say. The maximum solution is f equals 10, and it occurred at the point 3 comma 3. If there's a minimum solution you're looking for, negative 5 is the minimum solution, and that occurred at the point negative 3, comma, 0. All right? Now, you want to make sure you read the question carefully, because sometimes the question only requires integer solutions, and an integer is a whole number. So if you're looking at the number of people, the number of things that must be whole numbers, you might have to adjust a solution. If the decimal requires any, any decimal solutions, you'll need to accurately find the coordinates of the vertex. And to do this, you're going to use GeoGebra. So rather than looking and guessing at these whole numbers, we know how to use GeoGebra, how to find those coordinates. If you're not sure about that, go back to the video on my YouTube channel and have a look at the first one introducing linear uh, linear equations, okay? If the question requires integer solutions and the vertex is not exactly on an integer coordinate, then you're going to use the closest integer to that vertex. You may have to check more than one pair of integer coordinates near the vertex as it is not always obvious which is the closest, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and post up next week's Mahi Kura for you to get started on optimizing the solution. Thanks for watching. Please send any part time my way. Mauri Mahi, Mauri Ora, Kakiteano.